Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Epic Knowledge. Now this is a Laravel tutorial for beginner and in the previous tutorial we create a Laravel project uh, which is this one. Now in this tutorial we are going to talk about our route, view, controller, model and database. We are going to talk about the basic things about them and you will have the idea what uh, all those things does. So for it, first of all, uh, we'll open our project that we created using Sublime Text. You can use any editor you want. You can use Visual Studio or Atom, anything you have installed on your PC. So I'm going to use Sublime Text. So, so for opening the project, we need to click File, then New Folder, and we need to go to there where we created our project. And I created my project inside. Uh, laravel tutorial and here you can see laravel beginner a folder now i'm going to select it and click select folder here we can see it opened that project so let me just uh, close the previous one and over here you can see a lot of file and we are going to discuss uh, about every single of them but step by step first of all we'll go to this route folder and inside this route folder we have web.php and inside this folder you can see route get then a slash and function return view welcome now here you can see this slash this slash is the url now it is uh, it decide what will be the uh, url in our browser here you can see slash mean root view it means if we refresh over here it will return us this view now let me just uh, say over here slash home and if we save it now and if we refresh over here it will not return us this view it will say not found over here you can see as well now but if we just say over here right now slash home and press enter here you can see it is returning us this view now let me just try it again uh, let's just say instead of home let's just say uh, test and save it and over here if you just say over here test and press enter it will return us this view so this is what uh, route does route actually gets the url and return a specific view now uh, i hope the basic things about route is clear now the second one is our view so now let's discuss about view what view is so view is actually what uh, we are seeing in the browser here you can see it is returning us a view now uh, if we go back to our route over here uh, here you can see return view so we are actually returning view the welcome now if we go to our resource then over here you, you will see a folder named views and if you uh, go click views you will see a folder called welcome.blade.php now in this welcome.blade.php you can see a lot of code over here and here you can see over here laravel news and then if you go a little bit up you can see documentation and this welcome.blade.php is actually this one you can see the documentation then laravel news over here now let's say if you want to uh, return a different view so let's just say over here uh, home and let me just change the url as well let's just say here home now since we want to return a view home so we need to create a home.blade.php and if you just uh, look inside these views there is no home.blade.php and if you right click on the views and then click new file you will uh, it will open a new tab and over here we are going to say home.blade.php so our laravel use dot blade dot php so we need to always add dot blade dot php after our file name so i click ctrl s and we are going to click save so over here you can see inside our view we have a new home dot blade dot php so i'm going to remove it and here i'm just going to say our over here simple html and let's just say inside title let's say home and inside body uh, let's say here inside h on let's say this is a test view and let me just save it and if we just uh, remove the url and we are going to say here home and if we press enter here you can see this is a test view now let me just go back to our code again and we'll go to web.php and here we're actually returning our home view from directly from our route but in laravel we do not do this 
we actually return the view using our controller so how can we do it so first of all in order to return a view from the controller we need to create a controller so i am going to show you how we can create a controller but but before that uh, we will go to app then http and over here inside http you can see controllers and inside it we only have uh, controller.php so i am going to show you how we can create another controller inside this controller so for it we'll go to our project and here you can see laravel uh, beginner let me just go inside and over here we are just going to say here cmd and press enter now in order to create a controller we need to write a command so let me just say over here php artisan make then this clone sign we are going to say controller and let's say our controller name let's say it will be home controller now we normally the controller name start with a capital letter so it's not necessary but it's better to write it this way so if we press enter so here you can see controller created successfully now if we go back to our code and if you go to http then controller and here you can see home controller now how we are going to return a view from from controller but first of all we need to add this controller in our web.php so we need to tell our web.php that we have a controller called home controller so for it we need to say over here use then app capital app then backslash and inside app we have http so we are going to say http then again backslash and inside http you will notice controllers so we are going to say controllers and again we'll say backslash and inside controller we have that home controller dot php so we'll say home controller and give a semicolon so now uh, we'll be able to get access to our home controller from our web.php and here let me just remove this route from here and we are going to say route and double clone we are going to say get now in order to just return a normal view we need to use get and inside it we need to say the url name what name we want to give to our url let's say we want to say here home if someone uh, gives slash home in, a, in the browser it will return the view so after home we need to give a comma then two third bracket and inside it we need to say our controller name which was home controller and after this we need to give two double clone then we need to say class then we need to give a comma and two single quotation over here and inside this single quotation we need to write a function name now you can name it anything let's go with index uh, and it will end with a semicolon so let me save it and now what we need to do is that we need to go to our home controller and over here we mention index so we need to create this function inside our home controller so now let's go to our home controller and here we'll say public then function then we are going to say index so it means uh, if someone writes slash home in the browser it will call the index function in the home controller so after this uh, we need to give two second bracket and inside it we are just going to say return then view and inside it we will say our blade name uh, if you go inside views and here you can see we create home.blade.php so we are just going to say here home and if we now save it let me just save it inside uh, this web.php save it and let's go to our home.play.php and let's also just add another line let's say here h2 and let's say we are coming from home controller and let me just save it over here and let's go back to our browser and let's just refresh over here you can see that uh, in the browser we already have slash home now if you just press enter here you can see two lines this is a test view we are coming from home controller so this is the view for our url slash home now if we remove this slash home and if you press enter you will see this uh, that uh, 404 not found because we remove our welcome view from our web.php so let's add our welcome view so let's go back to our here web.php and let me just copy this line ctrl c and ctrl v 
so here instead of home we are going to only say slash slash mean it will be the root view and here we need to mention a function name we will say welcome so now let's save it so let's go to our home controller.php and here we are going to say public then function we are going to say welcome and inside it uh, we will return the view just like before we will say return view and inside it to single quotation we will say welcome now this uh, return view welcome will uh, give us this welcome dot plate dot php view so now let's if we just refresh our hair here we can see this view and if we just say our hair slash home you will see this view so i hope controller is clear to you now let's go back to our models and database now models and database is actually related to each other first of all let's just uh, create a database now in order to create a database you need to have your jam started over here you can see i already started my jam you can see over here stop and stop so uh, now we'll just create a database over here but before that uh, we need to go to our code then if you go down here you can see dot env and inside dot env here you can see db database now this will be your database name here uh, you can give your database name anything you want let's say here laravel beginner you can give any name you want so our database name will be laravel beginner and here you can see our username is root and password is null so let me just copy this uh, database name control c now if you change anything in the dot env and now if you go to your common pump you can see that uh, environment modified is starting server so i am just going to say over here control c and i am just again going to say php partition serve and press enter so it will uh, start our development server again so now we are going to our phpMyAdmin and we are going to click over here this new option if you click new here you can see on the right side it is asking for a database name so we are just going to paste the database name which is laravel beginner and if you just click over here create it will create a database over here uh, which you can see over here this one if you click over here uh, there is nothing in this database so we actually create our database and here uh, since we mentioned our database name in the env so we are actually connected to our database so let me just go to our notepad again so we just created a database now what is models now before i start explaining models what is models let me just show you how we can create a model in your laravel project so for it uh, we again need to go to your command prompt and here we are just going to say php artisan make model and uh, we need to give a model name normally uh, model name start with a capital letter and let's say our model name will be let's say student and we'll also give a minus m and i'll explain why we are giving minus m but uh, before we press enter let me just let me just explain a little bit what will happen if we press enter now if we go to our app and inside app you can see we have a model and inside model we only have user.php and if you go to our database and migration here here you can see we have only users table then password reset table uh, create job fail and personal access token now if you press enter in the controller over here you will see some changes in that folder or file so let's just press enter so here you can see model created successfully and migration created successfully so if you go to models here you can see we have a new student.php and if you go to migration here you can see student table now let me just explain what is this student table and what is this uh, models now in the student table over here you can see only two thing which is table id and table time stamps now if you now go to users table you can see some call uh, column over here you can see email email verified at password so we can actually make the same thing for our student table as well so for creating some column we just need to say here table and uh, 
we need to give a arrow sign we are going to say string and inside string we need to give a name over here let's say it will be student name and let's also make it just nullable we'll give a arrow sign then we'll say null able and let me just copy this on control c and i'll paste it let's say two times now let's say this one uh, will be for student email and let's say this one will be for student image so now if we save it control s and if you go to our PSV my admin and if you refresh over here you will see nothing over here because uh, for showing all those table uh, in the database we need to write a command so over here we are go just going to write a command uh, let me just say over here control c so if you just write over here php artisan migrate and if you press enter it will it will insert uh, all those table here you can see user table password reset table uh, then personal access student table it will insert all those table uh, in this database so if we just write over here PC addition migrate and if you just press enter you will see something like this that uh, migration user table and a lot of table over here now if we just refresh over here and go to our uh, laravel beginner database here you can see a lot of table you can see fail job migrations password reset then personal access token and the student table which we created now if you go inside here you can see name email and image so we are actually able to create table in our database but i still haven't explained what this model student.php does now this migration dot uh, now inside this migration you can see a lot of table now its only art is to create the table in the database and inside this model you can see student dot php now this is uh, this model is actually responsible for connecting our laravel to our database so whatever query we write in our laravel project it will grow through the model and send that uh, data to our database so this is why model is important now it will be more clear uh, in the future tutorial actually in the next tutorial we will understand what actually model does and everything because in the next tut tutorial we are going to insert data to database from our laravel project so actually this is all about this tutorial and, and if you have any problem then let me know in the comment section i will try to explain you everything as much as possible so thanks for watching and if you want to get notification for the future laravel content then subscribe this channel i upload laravel related video every day so if you subscribe this channel you will be able to learn laravel more easily and more quickly so stay tuned and stay healthy